did, did I get that right? You, you burned yourself up. You started a fire. What's your, the character's name uh, was? Melissa. Melissa burned herself. Yes. She's a dead woman. We know that from watching, right? <laughs> yes. Now, you, uh, this Friday, you're back on the show. Right. Explain. Uh, why don't you explain, <laughs> Kelly? <laughs> well, she, she knows all uh, my Kathleen history. Kathleen probably can tell us. <laughs> but I am now, but... You did you you were did you drink you, you fell asleep or you got knocked out right and Lance was accused of murdering you at one point <laughs> yes <laughs> correct yes but now he's involved with another woman yes now so when you come back who are you going to be associated with everyone yeah. <laughs> yeah. Th this is a woman who interviews Henry Kissinger <laughs> uh, <laughs> she knows it all huh. I have lipstick? No, oh, thank you. Uh, now, uh, so serious, but you're coming back as another human being. Yes, I'm coming back as Samantha Ross, who is uh, different than Melissa in many, many ways. But I mean, aren't people going to say, wait a minute, that, that looks like Annalisa? <laughs> I'm hoping they'll say that. Well, oh, because you're supposed to look like her. Well, yeah, she's supposed to have, I mean... You have to guide me through this slowly. <laughs> all, right. all right, go ahead. Um, okay, they brought me back as Samantha Ross, uh, who is a totally different person who looks just like Melissa ah. and uh, Richard bumps into me in a Chicago restaurant and uh, The story goes on from there. Oh, I see so you are in fact a different person now Did yes. I hear that I hear that I don't know whether we can get into this because of some contractual Business mm -hmm. that actually this is quite a deal. You're actually getting paid to be two different characters. Yes one dead and one alive <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? Well, yes. that, wow, that's neat. Yeah, it is. Uh, maybe you can bump this one off, too, and go for a third. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll take a break and come back and straighten sure. this out. Maybe we'll see this new person. Uh, okay. Um, uh, stay with us, folks. Annalisa, uh, more with her in a moment. Back with Annalisa. Uh, Falcon Crest is all over the world, isn't it? They air it yes, everywhere. Yes, it is. Yeah? Have you traveled enough to, to get that international recognition? Is well, that strange? Um, I went to Spain to do the San Sebastian Film Festival, and I took uh, my aunt and my mother with me, and I was really shocked. I couldn't believe the response. I mean, here people respond, but over there, I mean, they, it was like three blocks of people waiting just to see you drive by in the car, and people coming into your hotel room sneaking in to get a glimpse of you during the, you know, during the day. And, uh, I mean, you, they put you up in a balcony and you say hello to, I mean, masses of people. They, I mean, they treated me very, very well, but I was very surprised. Yeah, that's exciting. Now, are you from uh, Mexico originally? I was, yes, born in Mexico. Uh, and then, were you back, you were back there recently. Is this where this was taken? <laughs> yes. What do you, you, you don't look as though you've done this often, whatever you're doing here. Uh, um, that's when uh, we were shooting Romero, the film with Viral Julia, and uh, I made very good friends with a young girl who, I uh, took care of my hotel room, and I went to go see your family up in the mountains, and it was a wonderful experience, and here I am making a tortilla. I'm not very good at it. But... You'd never guess from, no. that, uh, from that confident look you have in your face. Um, <laughs> a lot of memories when you went back there? Did It uh... It was a very, very special time. Um, I left there when I was four years old, and uh, the memories you have back then are very sensory, you know? Mm -hmm. I remember the smells and the feelings and stuff, but going back there, you know, you, and it's your roots. And it's blood, and you connect in such a different way. And these people in Cuernavaca are such humble, simple people that it was. Had you not been back since you were? I'd gone back for a day here and there, but I, I stayed two months. Yeah. So it was very special. Yeah. We uh, we mentioned uh, your your returning character. She comes back uh, tomorrow. It'll be the first time. Yes, see her. she does. Set yeah. your VCR, <laughs> Kathleen. Uh, we have a we have a piece. Of, now this woman is a. Uh, how shall we put this in in uh, in polite terms? Well, tonight it hardly knows. <laughs> She's a hooker, right? Well, would you call her? My that? mother doesn't like that oh, word. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, <laughs> mom. I like... meant I meant she makes rugs. <laughs> <laughs> she's a she's a high class call girl, but oh. she really is a photographer. You see, she just kind of does that on the side. Call girl slash photographer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's a call girl. She's a photographer. She's all right. Uh, now we'll we'll see her doing something here. Uh, what taking pictures? Definitely I hope. doing something here. Yeah. Uh, what happened is she's met David Selby, and actually she's begun to fall for him. And this is one of their first intimate scenes, and he actually make uh, you know he pops a question to her at this oh, point. Oh, this sounds exciting. Uh, Falcon Crest, Annalisa. You're dreaming about coming back to San Francisco with me. Do you mean it? Mm -hmm. I have a proposition. I told you no business. Oh, now, come on. Let me tell you about my missus. I don't want to hear about your other lovers. Oh. 
Melissa killed herself not too long ago. My mother blames herself for it. They've been fighting for years over a piece of land, and recently my mother's had a nervous breakdown. She's taken to calling out to Melissa. Richard. Wants to talk to her. Richard. Don't ask me to impersonate Melissa. I wouldn't, but I think it's the only way to help my mother. It's too weird. I can't be someone else. But you're not someone else. I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, she looked like a photographer there. Um, so, oh, I get it. So you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna impersonate. You it, okay. You're gonna impersonate this person. Is that it? I'm you'll, impersonating you'll Melissa. Yeah. Yes, and I, I don't do it too well. <laughs> you should. I don't. You would think if anyone get the hang of it. Uh, um, anyway, that'll be tomorrow night, and I guess it'll continue. That character will continue for a while, right? Well, uh, five or six shows, and it should be very interesting as she, as she unfolds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd be looking forward to that myself. Uh, are you a ba basketball fan? Am I a basketball yeah. fan? I know that sounds like a, a real shift in gears, but it's the only way I know how to get our next guest I out love, here. I love, I love basketball. Oh, good, because uh, John Wooden is with I us. Know, yeah, I know. one of the most successful coaches in NCAA basketball history.